Hello everyone and welcome to US Computer Solutions. My name is Joey and today I'll be showing you how to have two monitors in span surround view. Meaning that if you are playing a simulator, you'll have the two screens merged into each other, making one big whole screen. You can also do that with three monitors or four, depending on your graphic card. And I've seen uh, my colleagues, they have three. They will play X-Plane 11, for example. And we will demonstrate how it looks like later on this video. But for today, I'll be uh, showing you just dual monitors, how to set them up from scratch. And then we will run X-Plane 11. You can do this on any game. I've tried X-Plane 11 and American Truck Simulator. And you can play it on mostly any game you want. You can have a nice surround. Um, you just need to play with the settings and we'll be showing that in a later video. Alright, so um, let's get started. On your desktop, you right click, you go to your NVIDIA control panel. And in your NVIDIA control panel, I'm using the 1050 Ti NVIDIA. Uh, GeForce GTX, of course. Um, if you go to configure surround physics, you see a, a span display with surround. This will enable both displays to be merged into each other and show as one. Also, you will, must make sure that if you set up your monitors cl correctly, you need to inform the system which is your main monitor. Normally my main monitor is on the left side and my other monitor is on the second and this way it won't interrupt your desktop setup. If you have this configuration correct, it should be looking like this. Now the cables in the back, I have them switched over, meaning that my second one is actually the left and the first one is actually the right. And I just switched them here and by so you can switch the monitors this way to whom which you want it to be, the left or the right. It always depends on you. Now in me, this is the setup. And right now I am recording this video off of my second monitor. And um, it is uh, working well for me this way. And then if you go to back to 3D settings, you go to configure surround physics. And of course, I don't want to do any changes, so no. Now if you do any changes below over here, you can click on yes. All right, so let's um, go span display with surround. I, I wish I'm taking a video outside so you can see how it looks, but for better quality, I'd like to show you how it is in the system, and then I will take a video of the screen later on. I'm going to click on Apply. And now this is what it's telling me. It's telling me that you have two and one and I'm actually one and two. This is how they are. Here's um, bezel correction. I normally would leave this on zero. Uh, if I do any change, it's going to show you a small little uh, road here that you can lower it up or down or unattach it like what I did over here and this is how it should look. Now it, it, it's showing on the other side the same roads just so you can align your screen with the other screen. Mine mine looks good this way so I'm gonna just click on enable surround. So after I clicked enable my screen flickered and now I have one whole screen which the resolution you can see is 3840 by 1080 um, which normally it is 1920 by 1080. Um, now it's like one whole big screen, which the only thing dividing them is the bezel. And I will show you in a second how it looks like in my angle. And uh, we will record a video from uh, my camera. I'm going to run X-Plane 11 for you to see. Of course, everything looks like one whole big picture. This is what the screen is going to end up looking. You can just exit out of them, and that's about it and you can 
just uh, continue what you were doing. Let's play X Plane 11. Let me show you how it looks like. Ain't that beautiful? Let me show you the settings. I'm gonna hope you can see the settings well because of the bezel that's dividing it. And we'll show you how the settings actually. Now, of course, uh, visual effect, I'm using the 1050 Ti, and I have it on medium, uh, maximum here. A uh, high number world object, I have it on high. Um, base front, I mean, this is depends on, on you, but the, the real settings are here. I have a full screen simulator, so the monitor usage is a full screen simulator. The, the resolution, I have a default monitor, but if you go all the way down here below, it is you can you can select the this setting which is 3840 by 1080p this is the setting that we want in order for us to run the game on dual monitor you can also do this on um, truck simulator American or Europe truck simulator I also tried it on um, uh, Microsoft flight simulator it worked okay with that and I'll show you X Plane 11 all right, so I'm going to keep it on default monitor because I've already set it up uh, before and I'm going to resume the flight and I'm sure I'm on a runway. I have no idea what or where I was flying before, but I will show you right now. Sorry about the audio quality, guys. I have a problem with my mic and I just ordered one, um, but if this helps you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel all right so this is how it looks the entire screen is as you see all together if I move around it's like I'm sitting in the cockpit of the plane this is the Cyrus vision SF50 um, we can turn on the Vehicles, battery, electronics, and stuff Sierra, like that. Sierra, and this is how it looks like. Zero, how it looks two, like from seven, outside. North last Get a full Optimum, view. Three, zero, two, seven, Baron, five, X -ray, Sierra. There it is. And Baron, three, this is how it looks like. Two North screens simultaneously together. Alright. Let me exit two, out of here. Baron. Quit video. Uh, what I'm doing right now is just I'm exiting explain. My explain has a glitch because I have too much of add-ons on it. And I will show you how to put everything back to normal. The NVIDIA control panel. And uh, there we go. Of course, if you go to the NVIDIA control panel. And you're gonna uncheck the span display settings. Up over here. There we go. Gonna uncheck that. And then click on apply. Of course it's going to flicker. Now in my case, though the screen turn off because it just picked up the, the second screen is the main screen so what I'm going to do is I will go to set up multiple displays like this and I'm going to check my second display that's currently turned off and my second display is this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch them and I'm going to make this number one my main display where my desktop icons will be My desktop icons will be so it has to be marked as primary. You see, there's a check now. And now, if I click on apply, it should flicker. And I have my two displays back to normal, which is display one and display two. And I will click on yes to reserve the settings and exit. And there you are.
I showed you today how to span your displays to run a virtual cockpit or a game on like one whole screen stretched out and I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave any comments needed below or any feedback and it was a pleasure please like comment and subscribe I'll see you again next time